once I see that your workshop is up, let's go back to the main uh, page, uh, go back to the main like library of all of them now. So in the library now, we can see there's your project. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to code it so that it'll be easily to easily findable. But yes, why don't you do this right now? Add okay. Well, I was actually I noticed that I didn't put um, the names of the presenters there. Yeah. So put that, put that in. Where do I do that? Configure course info. Okay. Authors. Yeah, and it's you should just start typing, and your name will come up. Okay. Or, well, there's there Kara. it is. Right there, Kara and Yanti. And do just do Yanti and his name will also pop up. Because people might want to search. Ah, uh, I see. Gotcha. Okay. Now while it's in while you're here, see where it says categories? Select course categories. You want to be it's a conversation, right? So yes. conversations. 2020 conversations. Okay. And might as well put in Summer Institute in Digital Literacy. So it so it lives in the whole the conversation category. The category is called Summer Institute in Digital start typing summer institute oh okay so these are like tags yeah these are like tags so hit save you can add the description and the summary okay and they Later. will then show up on your about page and you can okay. add a picture to make it pretty but now you've okay. really created everything you need to do and that's the end of our demonstration do you have any questions before i let you go um, um yeah well how come the name didn't do i need to refresh how come so I'm refreshing just because I'm, oh, there it is. Okay, it showed up. Okay, that was my question. Go ahead, Yanti. Once Kira add me as an author, now I have the same privileges to get in and do the edits. Why don't we test that? Uh, Yanti, uh, Kira, stop sharing your screen. And yep. Yanti, you share your screen. Good, good, good idea. So we have what we just worked on. Yeah, beautiful. Then I can add or like answer. Perfect. Now, how about Yanti? If you go to, um, I believe that because you're a library editor, you can edit anything. So I would like you to do some editing of um, one of my uh, pieces. Okay. So go to um, exploring children's media. Okay. And let's take a look at the path that says the real time path. Notice how here, and I try, I'm trying, Kara, to put the multiple Thank you, I, I noticed that right away. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There's not many places it looks good, but I think here it looks good. Okay. Right? So I've already designed four steps for the Anytime Workshop. See how, you, see how you, if you could click on show four steps, they pop out, right? And I've designed just one step for the real time workshop. Take a look at the step that I created. It's the agenda for my one hour Zoom meeting, right? Because I want, I'm running my Zoom meeting and basically up at the top, it says something like, click here to access the meeting and check it out. Click on there. That is a fucking open Zoom room, right? So that takes you to an open Zoom room that is gonna be the Zoom room. And I've basically created the outline for what's going to happen. So when I introduce the session, I'm going to say, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this, 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 and this. And then the conversation gets started. And if I have slides, I'll embed them in here, right? Or if I want to link to a Google Doc for us to collaboratively create a Google Doc, I'll have it all here. So everything about my real-time Zoom program I'm, I'm, I'm doing from the path right. And that's because I always want people to think about the relationship between, yeah, we spent an hour on Zoom, but there's so much more to this learning adventure. Um, and so if you scroll down, scroll down, you see my last thing, it says, um, create to learn. Take the last 10 minutes of your discussion and use the collaborative Google slide deck to represent some ideas that emerge from it. I would like to link that to my slide deck. So Yanti, can you edit to link that to my slide deck? First, the whole I have sentence? to find my slide deck. And my slide deck is in the create to learn a box on the main path of this workshop. 
Yeah, so you got to navigate backwards. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good way to do it, too. Under Create to Learn, I have the Google Slide Doc, and I think it should be linked to both places. So we build in some link redundancy. You can find it here. You can find it there, right? Oh, uh, because I'm not a viewer. That's why it's not. Okay. Oh, because you were in the learner mode? Yeah. Okay. Do you want them to edit? Oh, yeah. Okay. Check, yeah, so check to make sure that it is, I think it's open to anybody to edit, yep. But now you can plop it into anyone on the link. Yes. Yep. Okay, and then I'm going back mm -hmm. here, here, here you want it. Yeah, that's, uh, create no. to learn 10 minutes. Yeah, that's what you, oh, okay. elaborate. Stop one line, yeah, there you oh, go. Oh my God, that's so cool. Thank you so much. So yeah. we all have the power to edit each other's work. No, okay. wait a second. You didn't like, um, oops, you didn't like that. Uh, what are you trying to do now? Just trying no, to link. I oh, did yeah. this. You know what? Oh, okay. I got it, got it, got it. Go up, I think, are you not in edit mode here? So, hmm. I'm now in edit mode. Okay, good. Yes, link, good. Link oh, this one there. linked. Okay, it's there. Enter. And maybe hit, once you pop, yeah. Now you have to publish. There you go. Ah, beautiful. And pop, save. Always save, publish. then publish. Yep. yep. Okay. Oh my God, could we give you both a round of applause for your great work um, on the Pathright? So, when I went to the Pathright help desk, it's really nice. See, it's just like Pathright Help Center, and mm -hmm. it's help.pathright.com. Receive notifications in app and by email about activity in a course you are teaching. So if you're enrolled in a course as a teacher or moderator, you will automatically be notified. Okay? That uh -huh. happens automatically. So there you go. So and are we already yeah, are we are. already enrolled as a teacher or are we yeah, just you are. you are. What, what we editor. haven't done, what we haven't done yet is we haven't created the cohort with the enrolled students. So you're not receiving notifications now because we don't have any students enrolled in the course. Uh, here are two pro tips. Discussion notifications are also sent directly to the email address that you use to log in. Two pro tips. Clicking the X to the right of a notification once you've responded will clear it from your notification menu. This could be useful so that you can be current with the, you can track what you've responded to and what still needs attention. When you receive a discussion notification by email, replying to that email will post your response directly to the discussion thread. <laughs> we don't even have to go to the path, right? There we go, good.